You wasted a whole night in here. I can't believe Mac threw me in jail. I will Mac overreact sometimes. But he's all over this if it makes you feel better. How's Emma? Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. A little confused, I'm sure, but Judy Chin is taking good care of her. I'm sure she's wondering where her parents are. I gotta get out of here. I mean, there's no evidence against me. He can't just keep me in here. Which means he'll have to release you soon. In the meantime, I'll work on your idea about tracking down Lisa's patients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if uh, any of the patients have a cabin or a boathouse somewhere remote that Lisa might have taken Robin. I think we should start with the wealthy patients, ones that had big procedures that Lisa got them through. She's a gifted surgeon. Maybe somebody invited her to their guest house or their 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 cabin somewhere remote that she might have taken them to take care of. Hey, good morning, guys. Hope we didn't miss the meeting. We didn't start without me, we no, did. No, no, no. We were just going over surgical rotation. I'm not sure how I'm gonna explain that my best neurosurgeon spent the night in jail. Yeah, Max completely gone over the top. Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, he gets carried away sometimes. Yeah, Robin's flair for the drama obviously runs in the family. Oh, you know what? Mac has to know that Patrick would never hurt his wife. Oh, no, no. I, I heard her. There's okay. no doubt about that. You're being too hard on yourself. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Robin is probably in a hotel room in New York, reading the Times, enjoying room service. I hope you're right about that. Hey, uh... I brought you some coffee and sweet roll from Kelly's. I know it's not much, but I, uh, I didn't know what else to do. Thank you. You can use all the friends I could get. You always have me. Looks like I made it through the night. I promised you I would, baby girl. Everyone must be looking for me now. Uh, that's my alarm for my meds. It's Ten minutes past time. It's my uh, my safety net, so that. I always remember to take my meds, so I live for a long time and get to watch you grow up. I cannot keep you in here indefinitely. He hasn't even let me make a phone call. Yeah, well, it's easier for Mac to blame you than to just admit that Robin took off. Of course it is. Look what I did. Can you imagine if Robin had been unfaithful to you? Because, of course, it would still be your fault. I just want Robin to be back safe for Emma's sake. Emma's gonna be fine. I was actually I was thinking about bringing her some ice cream, chocolate ice cream, this afternoon. Uh, if that's all right with you. Well, isn't this cozy? There's nothing like broadcasting your motive for getting rid of your wife. broken. I mean, I fell a couple of times, but everything's good. Everything's fine. I'm gonna get out of here somehow, baby girl. I promise. Even if it takes a miracle. Miracles do happen. You happen. Let me out of here, Mac. I should be looking for Robin. You in on this together? Robin made it uncomfortable for both of you at the hospital, so you got her suspended. Now you've gotten rid of her. Are you kidding? Where the hell is Robin? I don't know! You know more than you're saying. 
Patrick has nothing to do with Robin's disappearance. Right? She has taken off before. This is obviously some sort of act to try and get attention. Because her marriage is falling apart and because she's been having so many problems at work. Keep talking. I'll lock you up too. All right, this is ridiculous. We both have patients to see. He's not going anywhere. It didn't need to come to this. Is that a threat? No, but the fact that you would leap to that conclusion is just more proof that you're completely out of control. I get it, Mac. You blame me. And you're scared. So am I. That's a lie. You know more about this than you're saying. I would never hurt Robin. Maybe you didn't hit her in the head and throw her in the trunk of your car, but you hurt Robin. You confirmed all her worst fears about getting married and having a family, and now she's gone. You know what? I'm sorry it's come to this, but I've contacted an attorney, Maggie Wentworth. That's my patient with tennis elbow? Uh-huh. You two are unbelievable. You haven't charged Patrick with anything. You have no evidence against him, and I actually talked her out of filing a harassment charge against you. At least for now. Okay, you can leave at any time and just collect your things with the desk sergeant. Thank you. You two make quite a team. Fine, go on. Get out of here, both of you. I'll see you back at the hospital. Robin obviously needs psychiatric help. I agree. Robin was doing fine. She completely recovered from her postpartum depression. Well, sometimes the craziest people don't understand how crazy they are. Thank you for, uh, for helping me back there. Yeah, it was my pleasure. I mean, you never should have been locked up in the first place. Uh, that was a surgical rotation? Yeah. Talked to the PCPD. They said you were out. Yeah. Did you find anything? Maybe. Uh, Donald Mulvaney, double knee replacement, new credits. Lisa for saving his golfing career. He has a cabin past the old fire road on Hunter Mountain. Well, that's some pretty rough territory. Yeah. He built it for his now ex-wife, who's in Florida. He's too busy to use it much. He told Lisa she could use it any time. Dose I'm missing. 